Okay, so here we need to simplify this expression. How do we do it? Okay, so let's remember something. For example, if I have a square and I have the square root of um, a square, this is the same as saying this. A and then this is 2 divided by 2. Remember, when you have a square root, the guy that is inside here, let's say uh, a square root of x, this is a 2 and this is a 1. I can also write this down as x to the exponent of 1 half. So anytime you have something like this, a cubed, b 7c cubed, I want to go ahead and rewrite it so I can divide it by 2. Look what I'm going to do. For example, a cubed is equals to a squared times a. Also, I can write down b7 as b to the 6 times b. c cubed, I can write it down as c squared times c. Remember, when I have the same exponents, I can just add. So why I'm doing this? Because that way it's going to be very easy to simplify this. Anything that is divisible by 2 is going to be able to get out, out of the square root. So let's see what happens. I'm going to rewrite it again and look what happens here. Let's go ahead and make our square root bigger. And we have a cubed. Instead of writing a cubed, I'm writing a squared times a. Remember, 2 plus 1 gives me a cubed. Instead of writing b to the 7, I'm going to write it like this, b to the set, b to the 6 plus 1, which is b to the 7. The same thing with the z. So c squared times c. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and put all of these guys together. So look, I'm putting the a squared times b6 times c squared together, and then have a, b, and c. Now look what's going to happen. Remember, the reason why we call this a square root is because there is an invisible 2 right here. When I have this, I can actually divide 2 by 2, 6 by 2, and again 2 by 2. Let's see what we get. Oops, I passed it. <laughs> Too fast. So look what happens. 2 divided by 2 is going to be 1. 6 divided by 2 is going to be 3. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Then a, b, and c cannot be taken out, out of the square root because I'm just going to get 1 half as the exponents here. And that's it. This is my answer, which is a. Just really quick, so make, to make sure you understand it, I'm just going to do 1. Let's say that you have b to the 11. The trick is to go ahead and rewrite it. b to the 11 is b10 times b, and then look at the trick you do. You go 10 divided by 2, that's 5. So 5 comes out of the square root, and then b stays inside because there's nothing else you can do. And that's it.